Source Nation. Join us now for The Political Corner with your host, Kevin Hezekiah, as he brings you the latest news in the area of politics. Tune in as Kevin discusses thought-provoking topics and shares his perspective on how we can move forward. Source Nation, here is your host, Kevin Hezekiah. Good afternoon, Source Nation, and welcome to The Political Corner with me, your host, Kevin Hezekiah. And today we have an amazing show for you. But before I go any further, I have to let me thank our sponsors who have made this show possible. And they are Zulina Health, Wellness, and Fitness, Paper to Film Productions, Revolution Mills, and Renovations. And if you're looking to get your business out and want to have your business, uh, promote it through uh, the political corner. Just just get us here uh, on Source Nation and uh, someone will be glad to assist you with, with getting your sponsorship package together. And now, like I said, we have an amazing show. Have an amazing show. Uh, today, our topic will be yay versus the people. Yay versus the people. So, you all probably understand what's going on with um, with Kanye West and him siding with Trump, um, President Donald Trump, and he had that the hat on uh, uh, "Make America Great Again" hat. So it's been it's been a lot of it's been a lot of uh, uh, talk in regards to uh, Kanye West siding with Trump. But did he side with Trump? Or is this something that Kanye West, you know, Kanye West is always up to something. He's a very smart man. So I think Kanye West is, has a plan, but uh, he has a, he, I know for sure he has an album that's about to drop. And usually when he has an album, he creates some type of, uh, he always creates some type of, uh, of, of, of friction in order to get that album promoted. But, uh, but yeah, so if you're just tuning in, you're listening to the political corner with me, your host Kevin Hezekiah, and today our topic is yay versus yay versus the people, uh, Trump's new man of arms. So we're going to take a quick break, and on the other side, when we come back from the break, I will be going into our topic of discussion. So, so, so Source Nation, stay tuned. Source Nation, stay tuned. You're listening live to The Political Corner with your host, Kevin Hezekiah. Welcome back, Source Nation. You're listening live to The Political Corner with me, your host, Kevin Hezekiah. And today I will be discussing Yay versus the People, President Trump New Man of Arms. Yay versus the People, President Trump New Man of Arms. Now, everybody, I don't know who all has been tuning in, but I've always tell you, make sure you keep up on these politics and make sure you you, you check out your news and, and stuff like that. And I always do your research when you start hearing stuff that's going on in this political arena. But what's been going on these last few days is that uh, we have uh, Kanye West uh, decides that he wants to uh back trump and you know and a lot of people were like what and also he said that the 400 years of slavery was a choice and that right there sparked a lot a lot a lot a lot of people man that that right there got people heated but the thing is is uh we we you you have to understand kanye's kanye west's uh point of view uh, b before you go and judge this man, I advise you to look at the interview that he and Charlemagne the God uh, did a couple of days ago. And the interview is very, very powerful. It's a great interview. It's like one of the best interviews uh, I've seen in a while and enjoyed uh, in a long time. And I, I big up to uh, Charlemagne the God and Kanye West for uh shedding light uh through this interview 
far as understanding Kanye West uh, actions, understanding uh, Let's Make America Great Again, understanding the fact what he spoke about far as uh, 400 years of slavery was a choice. And I, 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 I've asked you all, please just go look at that before you start judging this man, because uh, it, it actually it actually opens up and makes a lot of sense at the reason why Kanye uh, West is is actually siding with Trump. And, and you know, he, I, I watched the video and he pretty much was like, look, I don't like some of the things Trump do, but his his thing far as uh, wearing the hat, uh, the the make America great again was to bring unity to to the people. You know, it, it had nothing to do. He said he's tired of all the all all the racist uh, comments and uh, all the racist remarks when it comes to that hat and and make America great again. So his, he said his main purpose of putting that hat on was to show that hey we all are equal and we all are uh, we all are unified and we all are a unified uh, uh, front and that that was his main reason of of putting that hat on. Now he also stated that that uh, the reason why he he is siding with Trump is because uh, he felt like Obama didn't didn't make a, a impact in Chicago uh, for him. So he he pretty much was like, hey, uh, Trump is going to Trump is going to make it happen in Chicago. And that 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 uh, President Obama didn't do anything as uh, far as helping out Chicago at all when he was in office. So that, that's why he said his main reason for actually uh, siding with Trump was because he sees he see how Trump can make a difference and is going to do something to uh, help to help Chicago uh, and to help uh, provide uh, funding and, and housing for the poor in Chicago. Now as far as him stating the the that the um, about the 400 years of slavery is a choice. Uh, now that's something to think about. That's something to think about. It, you know, on my far as with me, when 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 I speak of somebody asks me about slavery and all of that type of stuff, I really don't feel like uh, this is just my point of view. So I'm pretty sure this may spark some 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 tension with you all. But hey. Like, like, like Kanye West said, this, this is time for us to be free and speak our mind and speak, speak what, what we feel we want to speak and be free because that's what this man is doing. He's just speaking what he wants to speak. But as far as when it comes to slavery, I feel like slavery has to do with working hard. And I don't, I don't really think the way they said we, were thrown on boats and shackled and all that type of stuff. I, I really don't, I don't, I don't agree with it. I really don't. I don't, because I don't see any type of, I don't see any type of memorabilia like at, at uh, museums and stuff. Now I heard that this new museum in DC, this African-American museum that's in DC, as far as what I heard, there I've been told that they have a whole section that deals with slavery, and they have memorabilia showing uh, shackles, the chains, the whips, uh, pieces of a boat, and all that type of stuff. I haven't been there yet, but this is just what I've heard. But you know, hey, I still don't. I don't know because I, re I remember a long time ago telling somebody. Well, Google slave ships and stuff like that, and like Google, Google some of the things that they used in slavery. And when you would Google it, um, it was just drawings. It never was no like real picture of anything. Uh, it was always a drawing. And I'm like, something isn't right. 
something isn't right. I'm not going to say that 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 we we weren't in, we weren't enslaved because, like I said, I feel like when when someone's talking about slaves, slavery, and all that, it's it's just far as working hard and and working working that person to, you know, just, just working them until they they can't work no more. You see what I'm saying, and and forcing them to work and forcing them to do things, uh, far as what they don't want to do. But um, if you're just tuning in, you're listening live to the political corner with me, your host Kevin Hezekiah, and our topic today is Yay versus the people, Trump's new man at arms. Now, what I've been discussing here is how Kanye has claim he has, he's back in Trump. But he said the only reason why he's back in Trump is because he said Trump said, Trump set an example for as you can do whatever you want to do if you put your mind to it. Because Kanye said that, hey, he wanted to be president one day. And he said when he told his friends and his loved ones he wanted to be president, they pretty much joked at him. They did memes, the, the memes, uh, with about him trying to be president and pretty much laughed at him but then he said once trump became president he said everybody's opinion changed and they was like oh you know what maybe you could have been president so he said that's his main reason of, of, of really trying to follow trump because he said trump is is making a statement far as you can do whatever you want to do if you just put your mind to it so hey who knows you know who knows uh you know it's just i i just really want you all to really watch this 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 interview and when you watch this interview then talk to me and tell me how you feel about about uh kanye west but i don't think kanye west is crazy now i think he did go crazy at one point and he said the reason why he went crazy at one point was because he was too busy trying to do what people wanted him to do he wasn't living the life that he wanted to live and he said that that's why he got sick and had to go to the hospital because he was too busy trying to 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 to, to live a life of another person it, it wasn't kanye you see what i'm saying so he said that's why he went and you know you know not understand that 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 can't happen if, if you go and you're trying to 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 make everybody happy but yourself then of course, yeah, that can drive a man crazy or a woman crazy. I totally get it. I really do. I do. I really do. Now, Source Nation, you listen live to the political corner with me, your host, Kevin Hezekiah. And uh, I think it's time for me to take a short break. Uh, but when we come back from the break, we'll jump right back into our topic. All right. So Source Nation, stay tuned. We'll be right back. And welcome back, Source Nation. You're listening live to the Political Corner with me, your host, Kevin Hezekiah. And today we're discussing yay versus the people, Trump's new man of arms. So if you're just tuning in, uh, we're, we're talking about how Kanye West has stirred the pot up, uh, talking about he's siding with, with President Trump and that uh, that President Obama didn't do nothing and and, and that slavery the 400 years of slavery was a choice um now kanye he, he's making a lot of he's making a lot of good he's making a lot of good uh statements you know he I, i'm not going to sit here and say that i'm siding with kanye or I, or i'm against him uh, my, my my thing is this that i'm stuck in the middle i'm paying attention I'm, 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 I'm listening to what he has to say and I'm listening to what the people have to say. And uh, if you, if you, if you, 
if you go and pull up your your, your YouTube uh, and type in yay uh, versus the people with T.I., you will actually hear the story where T.I. is actually the people. When Ye is talking about the reason why he said what he said and he's doing what he's doing and uh, inciting with Trump and stuff like that. The song actually explains to you the questions that you have in your mind and that you want to ask Kanye. And T.I. is the one that, that he's the voice for the people. So T.I. is actually the people. In this song, the song is a is a great song, man. I, I've listened to it today a couple times, and and really just focus on what they were saying, and it, it's making a lot of sense. And even Ti said in the song, "Well, if 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 what you're doing is going to stop the authorities, these police uh, authorities from killing uh, our young black men, our young black boys, then hey." I'm down with whatever you're going to side on with Trump, if that's the case. So if you listen to the song, I mean, it, it really does. It breaks down far as Make America Great Again, why he had that hat on. He also talks about the 400 uh, uh, years of slavery as a choice. I mean, this song will actually answer all your questions. So, so, so please just, one, check out the, check out the interview. Look at the interview, then two, listen to the song. And I guarantee you, when you check out this interview and listen to the song, it will it, all of this will start making sense to you. All of it. And you are you also understand Kanye West's point, his point of view. You see what I'm saying? You 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 will also be like, hey, I think I, I think I'm I'm feeling where he's coming from and I understand what he's trying to do. Kanye, you know, Kanye West is a voice for the people too. He only thing Kanye West really wants to do, man, is make a change for the world. I'm gonna tell you what 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 this guy has done. This guy has bought 300 acres of land. And he's talking about he's getting ready to build property, he's getting ready to build houses on that. And he's looking to also take this to a point to where he wants to build cities. But 300 acres, a black man with 300 acres of land. I know, I know a black man with like 216 acres of land, and you know he's trying to start a community with that. But I mean, when when you come across a a, a, a black man that's owning land, especially land like that, 300 acres, you know, it's 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 a purpose. And like he said, his purpose is he wants to build he wants to build homes there on that land he wants to start a community and 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 be able to he also wants to build a factory because you know he makes clothes and he's talking about how you know uh this is giving him uh the choice to actually go and build this factory you know with him uh getting with trump and, and siding with trump so 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 like i said i mean i'm pretty sure there's a lot of us out here that are like, I don't, I'm not feeling Kanye West. Uh, he crazy, and this and this and that. Oh, man, and all that. But hey, this man is very smart. And he knows what he's doing. And, and he's looking to really change the world and make the world a better place for everyone, regardless of your color. Uh, regardless of your your religion, regardless of whatever it is you're doing, you know he he's Kanye West said he's a free spirit person now, and you know he he's not he he's, he, he he wants to be able to uh, just speak his mind and voice his opinion without having to be criticized and judged, and I and I agree and I agree with that. If you're just tuning in, you're listening a lot to the political corner with me, your host Kevin Hezekiah, and our topic is Yay versus the people, Trump's new man at arms. Uh, now, Source Nation, uh, I think it's about time for me to take another break here. Uh, and if you're just tuning in, you're listening a lot to the political corner with me, your host Kevin Hezekiah. And when I come back, I will open up the phone lines. And if you like to uh, ask a question or make a comment, the number to dial 
uh, is 619-924-0933 and press option one. 619-924-0933 and press option one. Or you can hit me up in the uh, Facebook uh, chat or you can hit me up here in the group chat and here in the Google Hangout uh, group chat. So Source Nation, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll jump right back into our topic. All right, welcome back to Source Nation. You're listening live to The Political Corner with me, your host, Kevin Hezekiah. And our topic of discussion is yay versus the people, uh, Trump's new man at arms. Now, it, like, like I said, I'm opening up the phone lines. And if you want to make, if you want to call in and you have a comment or a question you would like to talk about, dial 619-924-0933. Press option one, or you can hit me up here in the Google Hangout uh, chat, or you can hit me up on Facebook chat. Uh, if you have any questions or you want to voice your opinion. Now, like I said, now following the debut of Kanye West's new show on Yay versus the People, uh, a point for point they, they debate with the rapper T.I. Uh, about the Trump presidency and his recent behavior uh, late Monday night. Uh, the artist released behind, uh, he, he, he actually released this song called Yay Versus the People. And hold on for a minute, it, some things that uh, happened to my, okay. Uh, and this song is actually, like I said, it's, it's telling the story, it's giving you, well, not telling the story, but it's, it's answering your questions to why uh, he has sided with Trump, uh, why he wore that hat, Make America Great, and why he said that um, slavery was, a, the 400 years of slavery was a choice. Now, the thing about it is, is that when you listen to this song, uh, it, it, I think you will get the understanding of everything as far as what's going on and, and with him. And he breaks it down to where, hey, you're going to say, hey, I think I'm a side with Trump. I think, I think, I think, I'm sorry, not Trump. I think I'm a side with, with Kanye. I understand and respect his point of view and, and what he's trying to do. And, and 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 where he's going to, uh, where he's going to take this little rant because we all know that that Kanye is great for rants and usually when he goes on a rant it's because he has an album that's about to come out and uh, that that that's his way of that's his way of getting his album out uh, and stuff like that when he does his rants and all of that. Um, now, Ti, he he pretty much was like, "Hey, uh, with him, you know, Ti has always been the voice of it. He's always an advocate. He's like a civil rights advocate now, where you know he goes in, shuts down restaurants and stuff like that and everything. But Ti was like, "Hey, 
he 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 he's starting to understand what Kanye is saying. And he also made a statement that, hey, well, whatever your motive is, if your motive is a motive of 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 helping to change the world and, and helping to uh get people of color and minorities um uh, you know in in far as getting us what we need as a minority as as black people that he said he he pretty much will will uh agree with uh Kanye uh siding with Trump. Now uh Trump hasn't said too many things uh far as uh about Kanye West. He did did tweet something saying that you know Kanye was a what what was his main man or something like that. But uh I think with this with this being with this being said and with, with what uh, Kanye has done, I think it's gonna change a lot of views on the way we see this political party. And I feel like there's a shift that's about to happen. And so, you know, uh, just stay tuned, people. Stay tuned and, and, and pay attention to this. Uh, and pay attention to this, this, this news feed here because I think what's about to happen is uh a lot of a lot of people are probably about to say hey okay trump is who trump is trump does what trump does um kanye made a lot of sense uh you know hey let's all just be free and we all understand that hey if we put our minds to it we can do whatever we choose we want to do uh because that's kanye's main reason siding with Trump and you know and I've said this before about Trump I was like hey one thing I can I can big up Trump about is that he came in to this campaign knowing nothing about politics but he was like hey I'm gonna be president and you know hey he did what he did he he worked hard even though he may have done some crooked things he proved to us that you can do whatever you want to if you put your mind to it and you, you work hard at it. So who knows? Like I said, we're gonna have to stay, uh, pay close attention to this, to pay close attention to what's going on here. And, and you know, and I, I would love to hear some of you all's uh, feedback in this now, especially after you watch the interview and listen to the song. I would love that. And you know, feel free to 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 email me or hit me up in my on my Facebook page and leave leave a comment if you like that. One, you know, even though the show may not be running, it may be a couple of days from now, and you're like, hey, you know what? I listened to Kevin Hezekiah's show on the political corner, and you know, I got something I want to say. Hit me up. I'd be glad. I'd be glad to. To, to, to chit chat with you. Now, if you're just tuning in, you're listening live to Political Corner with me, your host, Kevin Hezekiah. And today our topic of discussion is yay versus the people, Trump's new man of arms. Now, uh, I think it's about time for me to start wrapping things up here. And before I leave, I need to thank our sponsors once again, and they are uh, Meet My Types Matchmaking, Blend to Blend Juice Bar Boutique, Urban Grandstand Digital, and New Covenant Praise Worship Center. And Source Nation, if you join me again next week for another show, uh, you, you can also follow me on social media at Kevin Hezekiah uh, Sar. On Facebook, you can follow me at Hezekiah Sar on Instagram. You can also uh, follow me at the Global Agenda Show, uh, also on Facebook and uh, on uh, Instagram, the underscore global underscore agenda, uh, and also on Twitter at 
Global Agenda 007. Now, before I leave, you know, I have to, I have to leave you with some type of uh, uh, food or thought. So let, let me pull something up here. What I said I wanted to leave you all uh, with today. All right. And let's see. All right, here we go. Even when you meet people with bitter hearts, don't allow their ways to change your good heart. You came too far to fall into such compromising positions. You're wiser than that. Show it. So I'll say it again. Even when you meet people with bitter hearts, don't allow their ways to change your good heart. You come too far to fall into such a compromising position. You're wiser than that. Show it. So Source Nation, the political corner family, Stay tuned for another amazing show as Dr. Samori Swaggart brings you the pendulum. So please check his show out. He has some, some great knowledge and wisdom he likes to provide to you all as well. Sports Nation is being real. You enjoy the rest of your week, enjoy the weekend, and I will see you all back here, same time, same place next week. Peace. Yo!